Today is Friday, March the 4th, 2022, and it's a great day to have a day here on the Spurs Up Show, the best Gamecocks podcast on the internet. On today's show, I break down tomorrow's game as South Carolina travels to Auburn, Alabama for the regular season finale as Frank Martin's squad takes on the fifth-ranked Auburn Tigers, guys, I'll break down the game in its entirety. We'll break down, of course, Auburn also talk top storylines. Tigers players watch for keys to the game, and I will lock in my prediction as well. Folks, we've got a packed show for you on this Friday. And, of course, as always, it's brought to you by the Spurs Up Show Store. Guys, TSUS.store, the best Gamecocks merchandise on the internet. For all of your merchandise needs, be sure to check us out. Guys, we are dropping new merch each and every single day, including T-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, pullovers, tank tops, koozie stickers, you name it. We got it. Again, that's TSUS.store. TSUS.store, the best Gamecocks merchandise on the internet. Let's get it. Boys and girls, one thing is for certain. It is a horrid weekend to be a Tiger. Folks, hope you're all doing well. I'm Chris Phillips, your host of the Spurs Up Show. As always, appreciate you all tuning in. We have got a packed show for you here on this Friday, this game day, if you will. As first things first, South kind of baseball begins their series against the Clemson Tigers tonight at Founders Park. Also, Dawn Staley, the Lady Gamecocks, begin their pursuit to the SEC Championship as they take on Arkansas at 1 o'clock. But, of course, guys, we are focusing today on the season finale tomorrow for the Court Cox in Auburn, Alabama, as the Gamecocks travel to Auburn Arena to take on the fifth-ranked Tigers. Going to be an exciting weekend, of course, for us all. And, again, guys, cannot wait to take in all the action with you all. Again, guys, just a quick reminder, of course, dropping this on Friday. It is game day, and it's tailgate day as well. The TSUS and Carolina Alehouse Alegate for the Rowdy Roosters gets going today at three o'clock lot one outside of left field guys we're gonna have 200 hot dogs swag to give away gonna have music cold drinks flowing heckle juice flowing it is going to be one hell of a time as we get ready for first pitch tonight at founders park and again hope to see you all there i hope that you're all listening to this podcast right now on the way to the tailgate that would be ideal by the way guys really excited for this weekend and again gonna be one hell of a time but like i said All the action I know going on the diamond, but we're going to focus on the hardwood today because, of course, like I said, South Carolina travels to Auburn, Alabama, and their season finale. It's crazy to think basketball season is almost over. But, guys, here we are, the final SEC contest the season. Auburn Arena is where this game will take place tomorrow, 1 o'clock tip-off on the SEC Network. When you look at the series history, Auburn leads it 28-19. and Of course, they've won four in a row in the last meeting, of course, uh, just a couple of months ago in January, Auburn won the game at Colonial Life Arena. That was actually the first SEC game of the season by a final score of 81 to 66. The fifth ranked Tigers are 26 and four overall, 14 and three in the SEC. Their head coach, of course, is Bruce Pearl, and the Tigers average 79.2 points per game, and they're holding their opponents just 66.9 points per game. Now, when you dive into top storylines, guys, I'm going to start on kind of a different note. And this is something that I've seen all across social media. And just something I want to bring to the forefront. And that is the net rankings. And I'm going to tell you guys this. I think you all know at this point, like I'm not as much of a basketball diehard. I mean, I love it, obviously, but I don't know the ins and outs of basketball to the level probably I know baseball and even football. So when you guys ask me about net rankings, and why South Carolina's resume when the net rankings doesn't stack up to this team or that team or that team. Guys, I have no clue. I mean, I genuinely do not understand it. 
Um, when you start breaking that games down in quad one, quad two, quad three, quad four, you know, offensive efficiency, like I feel like there's a lot of statistics that really shouldn't matter. I mean, I feel like it should just be all about your record. And if you have a good enough record, you make the NCAA tournament. But sure enough, you look at South kind of right now in these net rankings and, uh, it's ugly. It's ugly. You know, there's a graphic going around social media right now where it's comparing the Gamecocks to other teams, and it just doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. There's no easy answer. And, of course, if you win a game like this, it's going to be huge for you for the, for the net rankings, quote-unquote, or what have you. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to the forefront. Again, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't understand it. It feels like something where all the stats are just made up, and, you know, the, the committee just picks who they want in the tournament and who they don't, and, they sort of just go from there. I mean, I have no idea. So, again, I just wanted to bring that to the forefront. The net rankings are just uh, insane, <laughs> insane. Uh, another big storyline, guys, of course, as I mentioned, it is the regular season finale as the Gamecocks take on the Tigers. It's crazy to think the SEC season and the regular season as a whole are over. After this, of course, next week, the SEC tournament will get going, and we will be discussing postseason basketball and where South kind of maybe will land. But, um, you know, I want to also clarify a comment I made on the Daily Crow a couple of days ago. And I posted to social media yesterday. And of course, it got a lot of reaction. And that was the, the comment that I made was this, is that South Carolina, love them or hate them, they exceeded expectations under Frank Martin this year. Okay? Now, to what I said, I picked the Gamecocks to go 6-12, and 12, guys, in the preseason, in SEC play. You come into this game at 9-8. and eight. So you have exceeded my expectations, undoubtedly, even if you lose tomorrow. On that note, though, I'm not saying that as a positive or a negative. I'm not saying that as a vote of confidence of keeping Frank Martin. That's still up for debate. You know, a lot of us came in a season with the tournament or bust mentality, and I think that is fair to have that mentality. But both can be true. You can say that South Carolina overachieved in this season. You can also say they did not meet the expectations needed to make you feel good about the future of the program under Frank Martin. Both can be true. But again, in this regular season finale, you know, what's going to be really interesting too when you think about it is that you played Auburn in the first SEC game, right? And I, I remember I was at that game, of course, and, and you lost to him on your home floor, 81-66. to 66. And of course, anytime you're playing a team for a second time, the rematch factor is certainly something you think about. And, you know, it's a big storyline in the game. And we'll, we'll talk about that right now, actually, the rematch factor and the revenge factor. And, of course, it's hard to beat a team twice. But it's going to be really interesting to see just how much South Carolina has grown as a team since that first SEC game. And if we really see – any indication of it because again you know yes I think you've probably improved from game one but now being on the road um having to go to Auburn which again is another big storyline for me guys is just Auburn's home dominance in case you missed it they are 15 and 0 on their home floor so the the task will be tall for the Gamecocks no doubt you're going to have to be road warriors you're going to have to be resilient fight through adversity on the road if you will um, but the overall rematch and, you know, I, I think Auburn's going to be a big favorite. I think they're going to be a double digit favorite, no doubt. And, uh, you know, while your win on Tuesday was ugly, a win is a win is a win. And you do have confidence. You do have some momentum and, you know, you have something on the line. You're sort of playing with your backs against the wall. And if you have any hopes at the NCAA tournament, you got to win this game and pull a massive upset tomorrow. Can you do it? And again, what does the rematch hold in store? And I think it's always really interesting because it's hard to beat a team twice or multiple times because, the team that won says, hey, let's do the exact same thing we did last time. The team that lost completely changes up their game plan. So it is a sort, sort of a chess match, if you will, a cat and mouse game uh, between the two schools and between the two head coaches. And certainly that'll be the case with Frank Martin and Bruce Pearl. Um, and guys, that's my final storyline is just the postseason implications and what's on the line with this one. Again, I, I think at this point, this team is who it is. Auburn is who they are. And, and you sort of know it's going to be a tall task. But, you know, just, just having that sort of pressure, does having that pressure – Bring the best out of South Carolina. Again, we all know it's a tall task, and they're 15 0 on their home floor. I mean, the record speaks for itself 26 and 4, 14 and 3 in league play. They're a really, really good team, guys. They're ranked in the top five for a reason. They've been number one for a lot of the season as well. Um, so, just the overall, you know, it's a game you got to win. It's a game you got to win. Bottom line, if, if you're going to talk about NCAA tournament, it's a game you really need to win. And one of those big upsets you just simply put need to have. So, uh, the postseason implication is something certainly we're all watching 
as we go into this game tomorrow. And speaking of watching Auburn players to watch for, you got to start with Jabari Smith, 16.9 points per game, 6.9 rebounds per game. Then you look at KD Johnson, 12.6 points per game and 2.7 rebounds per game. And then Wendell Green Jr., who was a magician against South Carolina the last time they played, 12.1 points per game and 3.8 rebounds per game. Auburn is deep. They are talented and they are well coached. Guys, let's look at the keys to the game. What must South Carolina do to have a chance in this one? First things first is win the boards. You, you got to be the more physical team. Um, guys like Taekwon Woodley and Williams Levesque, and you know you got to get big down low. And Auburn certainly has got their fair share of big men, and they're going to be really tough down there. But you got to win the boards. The second thing you got to do when you get second chances, second chance opportunities, you got to capitalize. Bottom line, um, you're probably going to have to play a damn near perfect game to have a shot late in this one to win. Um, that includes capitalizing on those second chances for sure. My final key to the game, the guys, is this. I mentioned it earlier, though. They're 15 and 0 on their home floor. You got to be road warriors. You got to be resilient. You got to be ready for the madhouse that's probably waiting for you. Again, there's a reason the Tigers play so well at home, but they are beatable, but they haven't been at their home floor this year. What a way to cap it off, ruin their senior day, if you will. So, again, my three keys win the boards, capitalize on second chances, and be road warriors. And, guys, that leads me into. My prediction, South kind of traveling on the road again, sitting at nine and eight, looking to finish above 500 in SEC play. What a story that would be and pull off one of the bigger upsets of the year. Um, again, the Gamecocks coming off that win on Tuesday against Mizzou. You know, I, I feel like Gamecock Nation is pretty pleased for the most part with the job that Frank Martin has done this season. And again, I know it's not really what a lot of us wanted. Um, and again, I, I don't want to spend every waking second of every show talking about his job status. And we, we will readdress that when we get after the season's concluded, whatever happens when the dust settles. But this game specifically, um, guys, I, I've said it all week, and, and I hate to sound so pessimistic and, and so uh, so down and out because it's college basketball, right? And the beauty of this sport is that anything can happen. Upsets happen all the time. But there's a better chance of me sprouting a pair of wings and flying to the upstate for the third baseball game than there is of South Carolina beating Auburn. Auburn is a complete team top to bottom. The Gamecocks struggled on Tuesday to beat a really, really bad Missouri team on their home floor. Um, I, I don't think Auburn is going to have a lapse in concentration on their senior day on their home floor place. They've gone 15-0. and And I think the Gamecocks will battle Auburn early. But as you saw in the first contest, it, it's just a, a differentiation in talent. Um, Auburn is just head and shoulders better than you again. It will, it will take a Herculean effort from guys like Eric Stevenson, Jermaine Kusnard, Keyshawn Bryant, you know, James Reese, of course. It will take a near perfect effort, and I'm not even sure that will be enough. So, again, with that being said, I, I think Auburn guys, again, it, there's no shame. As I said last weekend, there was no shame in losing at Bama. There's no shame in losing at Auburn. Auburn's the fifth ranked team in the country for a reason. You know, and unfortunately, you put yourself in a position where you need to win. But that doesn't really matter. Auburn's just better than you. They're flat out better than you. Uh, there's no way around it. So, again, I'm going to lock it in, guys. Give me the Tigers winning this one. Auburn 87, South Carolina 69. Again, I just think the Tigers, man, they're for real. They're legit. This is a definitely an Elite Eight, Final Four type of club. And, uh, yeah, so I, I've got Auburn getting the win, 87 to 69. I'm locking it in, guys. Would love to hear from you, your thoughts, your predictions, everything else. Um, yeah, and what should be a fun weekend, guys. Like I said, we've got the men's basketball game tomorrow. we got women's today at 1 o'clock. We've got our tailgate. I'll be doing the Daily Crow live from the tailgate. Going to be one hell of a weekend. Uh, and also, really quickly, a note. You know, on this baseball series, before we get out of here, of course, it was announced yesterday by Mark Kingston that uh, James Hicks out for the year with Tommy John. Julian Bosnick has not started even throwing a baseball. So this weekend is Will Sanders, TBA, and TBA. And I tell you this, though, guys, you know what? Baseball is all about adversity. It, it is, and it's it's not an ideal situation to be in. But, guys, if, if you take nothing else out of this podcast and you take nothing else out of me going into the weekend, don't make excuses. Win anyway. That is the attitude. That's mentality of Carolina baseball. It always has been. It always will be. Win freaking anyway. Guess what? Winning 15 to 12 does the exact same job that winning two to one does, guys. If you got to swing it, then swing it. It is what it is. So, We'll see what happens. It's going to be a ton of fun. I will be for sure at the Friday, Saturday games, TBD on Sunday. But uh, really, really excited, guys. Cannot wait to party with a bunch of rowdy roosters, give Clemson baseball hell all weekend, and, uh, you know, just have a blast. So, again, guys, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the love and support. Let's have us one hell of a weekend. Go Cox. Beat Clemson. Beat Auburn. 
beat Arkansas today, and we'll talk to you on Monday.